I've never been here before. And I'm literally speechless, which for a guy who's supposed to play video games and talk about it is not a great look. But um, let's take a meth lab with us. Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer, and we are back playing Seven Days to Die. And in our last episode, we had the mega roof building episode, and we are back, and the cabin in the woods is Finn. So I want to take a look real quick and show you everything. Um, mainly what, what I did was, here is the new patio area. Uh, it is a double layer of of the walkways on top, so that is how we accomplish that. I kind of wanted to go for like the trestle look ish, and um, this was as close as I could get. Um, so that's uh, using using the walkways uh, double layer style. So I think it looks okay. Um, and of course the snow falls through it, so you can't tell this is a stone patio. We have our fire out here. I probably should have put some like Some kind of furniture maybe but there really is no Outdoor furniture in seven days to die. <laughs> I mean, it's let's face it. It's not the Sims. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I, I could go full on clamp it and just throw a couch on the front porch <laughs> But I did not want to do that. Um, the roof is fin, is all the way and totes legit, including at the top. So um, so everything is looking good in that sitch. Um, as far as the interior goes, I went back to the base. I got uh, I got all of my red flowers, and I redid the floors in proper floor mode. There's a little area back here for a closet. We have our little living space. I was going to put like a TV and stuff, but there's really no... I mean, I guess I could put like a small one here on the stairs, but meh. Um, I have a harder time doing the... Um, like decor stuff in this game simply because the decor has no function. And I'm a function uber alles kind of guy. So... Uh, you know, put the wall here with the Adobe Abode, but um, I don't know. It kind of, it kind of, eh. with the exterior out of log, I probably should have done an interior uh, Adobe Abode wall, but because um, now it just looks like I stuck a wall in the middle of a log cabin, which is kind of what I did. Um, sinks, refrigerators, you know, all that kind of stuff. Put a cooking pot on top which does nothing. Um, you can't cook in it. Uh, so there's that. Here's the boudoir. And, and plenty of, if you ever wanna, if, you, if you're in the market to buy a log cabin, plenty of storage space. Uh, we have all this storage in here, which is lovely. And then in addition, we have up here, the roof, the uh, attic, which also has storage space galore. So plenty of storage space. Uh, if you're in the market for a cabin, call me. Um, we have very reasonable prices. Uh, so yeah, there you go. And a desk and some paintings because, because reasons. And now you can, here's the top of the roof. Um, yeah, so it turned out okay. You know, it's not terrible. You know, considering the whole thing is simply a facade to cover and keep us safe when we mine for potassium nitrate. Um, it's, it's quite an extensive camouflage if you will because all of it was meant to just make this little spot here safe so we probably went above and beyond but um but we did so so what's next what's next see this is cool. i like the fact that you can do something like this and have the the uh, the effect of the fire without actually jacking up the heat map or having to stuff wood in it every once in a phrasing <clears throat> having to stuff wood in it every once in a while so yeah so what's next 
let me tell you what's next. We need a new base. Um, I got to introduce the tour. We need a new base. Uh, we we have our base, which is like way over. I got to reset my spawn point. Actually, the next thing, the next time I'm probably gonna die will be actually over at the uh, the platform. So I probably should just leave my spawn point. Um, it's not there either. Where is my spawn point? I'll figure it out later. Um, so this base is, as, as we have seen in previous seven day hordes, uh, pretty impenetrable. So mission accomplished there. -ching! So I want to build another base and I was thinking about designs and, and, you know, and I thought, I thought to myself, I'm out of ideas. I'm flat out. I'm out of ideas. What can I do? And then I went back to the Midnight Designer archives <clears throat> and I remembered in like Alpha 10, I built the amazing base. Now, if you don't remember the amazing base, uh, that's fine because, uh, you know, you probably weren't around for that. Oh man, look at all this coal. Look at it all. Coal for days. Anyway, um, the amazing base, <clears throat> I was trying to to figure out because uh, back in Alpha 10 they were touting oh new AI new AI for the zombies uh, they're super smart super smart they figure out where you are and they'll find you and they get you so what I did was um, I built a maze around my base to see if the zombies could get through it and that I can't I'm pretty sure what happened was the next alpha released and it broke my world. <laughs> That's what happened. So, <laughs> so I remember, I think I tested it a couple of times, but I had only built the walls out of wood and the zombies just sort of went through the walls. I remember it being an unsatisfactory conclusion to what had been a very long process of building a maze around a base. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to, because the AI has changed for sure. The AI has changed. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to build amazing base 2.0 and test the AI in the alpha 15. And pro and according to, I mean, at least reading the tea leaves and stuff, alpha 16 is still a few weeks away at best because they are still adding new features and breaking the game. So we're still at that point in the process. Wait, where am I? Am I heading in the right direction? I am heading in the right direction. <coughs> so, so we are still in the process of adding features to the game, figuring out stuff. Um, cause I watched a, uh, a video from the mole and he seemed to indicate that they were like four weeks out before they started testing a build. So that was last week. So four minus one is three. So it's, we're looking, I mean, it's going to be a while until alpha 16, if I'm reading it right. And if I'm not, you know, whatever it's, uh, it's going to be sooner than that. And I'll be surprised. So what we are doing now, what today's adventure is going to be is a, an almost literal adventure in which we try to find a spot to build our amazing base 2.0. Okay. Um, let's see. So we are going to try to find, wait, can I get over this away? Is this all what it's all, oh man, I am in the land of a thousand lakes. So we are going to try to, we are going to explore short, short story long. In this episode, we are exploring and looking for a location to build the new amazing base. So that is what we are doing in this episode. So I am trying desperately to find new terrain. And I think if we go this away, we hit the hub city and then head uh, south from there, we should be able to hit new terrain, which hopefully does not have as, uh, as many lakes as we have been dealing with because otherwise this is going to be 
an entire episode of circumcising lakes and uh, not not discovering new and exciting uh, areas and new and exciting points of interest and new and exciting things and plus this is going to be an entire episode where I demonstrate uh, and prove to the naysayers who say nay and then say midnight designer that's why you cut out all the driving this is gonna be an entire episode of driving me demonstrating my skills the kills with regard to uh traversing the terrain via mini bike and uh not running into things very much i cannot promise zero collisions so if you are my state farm representative please turn away now so here is here is day city day hub day nada um and that would be an interesting build if we like leveled a block um and then uh, he lived he lived he died as he lived and then died again right in front of us So that would be an interesting build, like to build it in the hub city. I just, I don't know. I don't know. That would be, it would be interesting from a sort of totally, uh, give me a road going south kind of way. That's not a way of building things. Aha, a road going south kind of way. Perfect. All right. Now we should be, we should be leaving and entering the fog. Perfect. 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 Perfect more lakes even more perfecter all right so but i mean the the problems with the the hub city builds are that i don't know the ai the the zombie spawning is is different there and so i don't know i mean we could we could wind up doing that and that would not be a problem just level a block or two or four uh depending on the size of the maze um, and I think it's going to be, it's not going to be as big as like the platform is. Wait, what are you? What, what ho? Are you, are you a store point of interest? The booby trap. Are you serious? Um... Okay, we have been sidetracked. Oh, wow. Um, I have never been to one of these before. Um, we are we are now officially sidetracked. Zombie farmer, nice. And I'm very nervous because, um, who are these guys? I have never seen these zombies before in my life. Biker zombies? <gasps> oh, this is awesome. Okay. I admit this was supposed to be road trip adventure. We were going to be all like, uh, um, sunglasses really. And okay i've never been to one of these places before in my life really an actual oh that's cool um an actual exploding why are there so many farmers shouldn't y'all be working the fields or whatever uh, mining helmet uh, okay. Black goth boots? Oh, Pat. Oh, Pat. This is awesome. Uh, 
And I'm terrified now because somebody blew up. Are those like... Let's go inside and investigate, shall we? Honest engine. I had no idea this was here. I did. Whoa. I have never been in one of these points of interest before. And I have never. Are you? Oh, there's a meth lab in the back. I am, I don't have a wrench. Oh, I do have a wrench. I do have, I has wrench. Oh. Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Oh, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool because uh, uh, I have, I've never been here before and I'm literally speechless, which for a guy who's supposed to play video games and talk about it is not a great look, but um, let's take a meth lab with us. Did I not get it? Oh, wait, did it? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, snowballs. I was like, wait, did I accidentally break it? And I was like, yo, yo, inventory full. Full? All right, empty refrigerator. Let's see, how many more booby? I don't even know. Like, is this, is it just back there? Is it just by the doors? Where are all the traps de boob? It's open. So we're okay. We're not trespassing. It's open. Let's get rid of sand. Let's get rid of grass. Although we could probably sell it here at the biker bar. Uh, let's see here. V very cool. So this seems... <clears throat> I mean, there's a bar here in the middle. Oh, there's the stage. Live girls. <laughs> That's ironic. Oh, live, uh, live explosives. Perfect. Dead guy. Purple overalls. Very cool. Very cool. Guys. So here's the restrooms. Let's uh let's see how they did right before it all hit the fan. Not bad. Not a bad Ooh, hello. Hello. Hello, wall safe. So this was not a... Uh, when I saw it out of the corner of my eye when we were driving by, I kind of thought, oh, it's a... Uh, I thought it was a shop or something, but why am I carrying paper? Well, I mean, why am I doing this wood sport thing? Also, I thought it was like a store. I've never, I've never been to one of these before. This is so cool. Very, very, very cool. Cooking pot. Scrap. Wrench. Scrap. Awesome. And then I presume the bathrooms are over here. It is locked. It was locked. And then I unlocked it. Perfect. Uh, it's 101 degrees. Oh, because I think I'm I think I'm still wearing my winter gear. I should wear goth boots. Is that uh, is that all show and no go? Are they better than my actual military? I think my actual military boots are more goth than um, the hot topic. Uh... Okay, concussive 34, concussive 78. See, that's what, 
you can't get the you can't wear your hot topic boots and uh, be legit so I mean they're not Tim's or anything but you know all right well this is very 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 cool but we outy we outy we we must find a place to build our base but that is awesome that is very cool GG fun pimps and let us oh wait oh did you see there's a mine right in front of the if so if you wanted to get a soda pop it would be the last thing you ever did last thing you ever did yo all right well kind of off the beaten path lots of bikers which I've never fought before it's weird that they're not part of the day seven hordes but uh, I've never seen them before until now there were no strippers there, which was uh, nice because this is a family-friendly channel. Um, but they show up at the Day 7 hordes, so maybe they've all wandered off and the bikers are just kind of waiting for them to come back. So a giant desert biome is what we are into now. And something green this way comes. What's over there? I can't, I can't, I can't see trying to I'm trying to be tall but it doesn't actually help with the looking at the screen what's over there more stuff all right and so we sally forth into a very lush biome and we're heading right for who would have thought a lake Let's see, the red pill or the blue pill? We'll head this way. Wait, let's... Well, that's gonna wrap back around to that. So let's uh, let's get into completely, completely virgin territory. Oof. Oh, oh man. Oh wait, before we do anything else, before we do anything else, um, let's dump some stuff out. And then let's get our let's get our gear out and oh, wow my red shirt is my red shirt is getting red shirted here but it'll work for our purposes where are you and where are you perfect I gotta I gotta fix my red shirt all right So I'm not sure what I'm looking for in a site. I think I want it to be relatively flat. I think I want it to be relatively attractive. And um, that's basically it. Those are the criteria. Relatively flat and relatively attractive. Not unlike myself. So, and then we're back into the edge of a desert. Probably the same mega desert which I would prefer over Mega Lake because Mega Lake I can't do nothing with. Mega Desert, I can at least, you know, drive over. So, what's wrong now? I just changed. I, I have got to get my, uh... oh, hey, I run you over a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't think it was enough to kill you. And more desert. Running into... More lake. And a hairpin turn into more desert. Oh, and out of same. Wait, what are you? Oh, it's a town. It's a town. This could be cool. Because the thing I like it, I mean, for what it's worth, on the Alpha 15 towns, or is this a little four-way thing? This is a little four-way thing.
Hey everybody. The four way is not as great. Oh man. Oh, burned by him. And is this like all of it? Oh, right. I can't read the map on the bike. So it looks like this sort of dead ends. This this uh, this little four way is uh, is dead ends on three sides. It looks like. I mean, there's a trail that runs off to who knows what. But this may not be bad. I mean, there's there's here's some green space. It is next to a lake. Uh, which will provide us with the scenery we so richly deserve. And... Huh. This may do it for us. Hold on. Let's mark on the map where the bike is. Perfect. Bum, 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 bum. So the maze will not be as big as the platform was. So it'll be like maybe 35 blocks or so, 35 by 35. If we built it over here by this lake, that would be lovely. And this looks all relatively flat. So if we built it maybe in this area, because I want to have enough spawning space so that we can get zombies from any of the possible directions. So if we built it closer to like this spot, I think we'd have enough room so that I don't want to limit the spawn possibilities because the base should be able to handle zombies from any side. So maybe even like over here. Very, very, very cool. This will work. We have found it. We have found our space to build our amazing base. Beautiful. So there you go. I went an entire episode of driving without hitting anything. We hit the strip club. You're welcome. And um, we found a place to build our amazing base. Mission accomplished. Well done. We will, but don't worry, we will be hitting the, um, the Day 77 Horde. We'll be back at the platform. So we are not going to try to get this thing up and running and then do the Day 77. Because I still have to do the solo uh, Day 7 Horde uh, at the platform. So we're definitely doing that. But, 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 but the Day 84 Horde, we will tackle in the Amazing Base 2.0. Lots of things to get done. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to start a conversation, why don't you start one? Where? In the comment section below. Very nice. Very nice. And very good. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.